Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video but before we get started guys make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already and help us on the journey to 30,000 subscribers as our goal is midway through January to hit the 30,000 mark so if you can all do that that'd be much much appreciated anyways on to um, the competition so uh, before we get onto today's one, as always, we need to go over the results of the previous one. And looking at the results, it was quite close, but it looks like the user Seprem, I hope I'm saying your name right, they managed to pull it with one vote in the end with their planet Chipple here. So, yeah, congrats to them for uh, taking the victory on the Archipelago uh, object competition. Yeah, it was really, really close between him and Demunic. I think it was like eight to seven votes. So, yeah, those guys took up the majority of everything. So, yeah, he took the victory with his object here. So yeah, a massive congratulations to him. But anyway, so that all said then, guys, moving on to today's competition. Okay, everyone. So moving to today's competition, we are going to be doing a Proto Mars competition. So basically, how Mars would have looked a long, long time ago. So without further ado, let's see what you guys have prepared for us today. So open the menu. Right, scroll all the way down to competition. Okay, so here are our submissions here. So... First up, we have Endy's Proto Mars. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. Here we go. Right, so he's gone with the full on Mars was once habitable build. As you can see, vegetation on the um, current Mars surface, city lights to boot as well. Nice blue atmosphere, the white clouds as well, all the nice vegetation. So, yeah, a nice terraform Mars from back in the day, effectively. So, remember, the theory does state that Mars did have liquid water at one point. So, here is what it could have looked like. So,. Let's see if did he give us any description. Okay, this is my submission. This is what Mars looked like before its core cooled down and lost its magnetic field. The planet is full of life, lush forests and oceans. So there you go. There is Mars. Looking good. So next up we have got Nick of Bean. So let's go ahead and spawn his one in as well. And he has gone probably for an e a Mars even earlier in its life. Okay, so it looks like it's just formed or just all of the heat from just forming has cooled down and you've ended up with this so okay so see what's he uh any description he has given us let's see very limited description okay so a dying word so solostio solstico i'm saying that right i'm probably going to completely butcher that <laughs> so anyways there's there's the uh, name there Sto solstico so it's a dying world, what we would later know as Mars. Its oceans of blue descended to coarse, dusted lakes of carbon. The atmosphere vanished, vanquishing by the deadly rays produced by the sun. The possibilities of life drain to zero as the planet goes from blue to coarse red. Okay. So this is probably a, like the form of Mars kind of after this, basically. This would have eventually evolved into something like this. So as you can see, the water's all drying up. The red as we know it today is starting to show through. A lot more, obviously a lot of the ice is all freezing up, obviously losing its atmosphere. So let's have a little look underneath as well. So that's what it looks like. So you can see yeah, Mars not looking too good. You know, it's freezing up, all of the uh, conditions of life have worn away. And its water is slowly fading off the surface as well. So there we are. Okay, looking good. Right, next up we have got this one here. So this is from Emerald Neos. So let's go ahead and see what they're prepared for us. Okay. So, right, where are we? Um, top scientists from across the world have created a model of what Mars may have looked like 3 billion years ago. Their model shows a transition between a haven for single cellular marine life and the arid desert Mars is like today. Their model has small seas of murky water and a thick brown orange atmosphere that is made up of mostly water vapour. Surface samples of the red planet suggest it had sustained a large collision around 3.1 billion years ago that had created a temporary ring. The scientist's model had a silicate ring system between... 7,900 kilometers and 10,500 kilometers that consisted of thousands of rugged particles. Over time, gravity would bring the particles to form the innermost of the modern moon's Phobos. Nice. So there we are. So let's have a little look at what we have underneath. So there you go. Okay. So a very, very early version of Mars as well. Also got some craters. The surface looking a little different as well. Okay. Three billion years ago as well. Okay, so yeah, that would only be what the planet at this point would be. What a billion, uh, yeah, one point six billion years old if you take three billion years off now. So yeah, okay. 
Cool. So there we are. So we haven't had any Marses like right in the formation period yet, like heavy bombardment period, any hot glowing larvary world yet. I wonder if we will get any. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, next up we have got this one here from Mindabat. It looks like it has lava on it. Oh, oh okay. Alrighty, okay. And they could be the volcanoes for all we know, because remember Mars does have its volcanoes, and they would have been active at one point. So there we go. Okay, so what's um, what's their description saying? Uh, where are we? So minor bat. Mars a long time ago. It still has somewhat on atmosphere, but it's slowly losing it. There are also various lakes, but not large enough for cool oceans. There are basic microbes that have not had time to develop into anything complex. Various craters from impacts and objects can be seen on the surface, but not nearly as many as modern Mars, since the atmosphere is denser and there are still geological activity. Some craters are fresh, they're still glowing hot. Okay, so this is probably Mars... This is probably the earliest version of Mars out of all of these, possibly. If it's, you know, slowly building up the water, so he's still getting crater marks and stuff. So maybe, maybe this is... Maybe this is Mars just coming out of the heavy bombardment period, probably a little after that. So there's still a few little asteroids hits in it and stuff, but nothing to the level it would have once been. I don't know, that's just the theory, though, but yeah. So we're kind of like going back in time almost with the Mars. We've got Mars when it was most terraformed, and then we're slowly going back. Oh, no, no, this one, no, this one would have happened after Mars had its water, actually. So maybe we'll have to try and put them into a timeline of how Mars would have looked, possibly. I mean, we'll try that at the end. Okay, next up, we've got Saphenix as well. So let's go ahead and see what they have put. Okay. So let's see. Uh, young Mars, he hasn't put anything else. Okay, so here it is here. So quite similar to the first one by the looks of it. So if you look underneath, a lot more ocean heavy than the first one by the looks of it. Okay. Let's have a little look around. Yeah, definitely a lot more ocean heavy. Okay. Earth blue atmosphere. Earth blue clouds as well. So it's the perfect sort of Earth uh, looking Mars there. Okay. But without the vegetation. So in theory, this would be after Mars has lost any of that. Okay. Interesting stuff. Next up, we've got pumpkins one. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Looking good. Okay, interesting. Ooh, okay. Right, so let's see what they've put for us here. This is my approach to Mars. A temperate marine sub-Earth, uh, um, 0.14 or 104 masses of Earth and 6,778 kilometers across. Although this planet hasn't had life, or has life, it isn't as intelligent but as complex. Cool. Okay. So, again, a very early uh, a version of Mars when it could have had life and stuff so there we go continents are all looking different as well okay nice next up we have got the Munich's one now there is one more from chris but i don't think because i think it was named different so we need to uh go ahead and find that okay so let's go ahead and put that in there okay so here's the Munich's one anyway so okay so we've got a much thicker looking apps here he's given us a big description as well okay let's have a little look underneath first okay Oh, clouds and atmosphere off. Okay, got some ice patches on it as well. The water is a lot, um, not as uh, complex as the first, the other two uh, with the very ocean heavy ones. You can see the volcanoes are all frozen up as well. Okay, anyway, so here's the description. What I basically made is the most realistic depiction of Mars could have been before it's lost its oceans 3.5 to 4 billion years ago, since that is what Proto Mars means. Okay, Mars in its early stages. Even though it is unlikely Mars had enough time to develop terrestrial life such as plants, I added some plants anyway for the sake of visuals. Also, it's not 100% impossible even though it's very unlikely to have been the case. My depiction of Mars has a very thick and windy kind of dusty atmosphere with a pressure of 10 atmospheres. This was possible way back when Mars had pretty active volcanism and geology which constantly added gases to the atmosphere because remember Mars has some really big volcanoes. Um, Anyways, uh, combined with the fact that it's also allowed for a way strong magnetic field that protected the atmosphere and oceans from solar radiation. There's a big main ocean that covers half of the planet while the other half is landed with some big lakes and seas scattered across such um, as the Hellas Sea, now a um, big um, depression known as the Hellas Planti uh, Plantia, and similarly a large sea called the, um, so the Argri Sea. Okay, cool. Near the shore lines, you can see how the waters are greener. So, yeah, we can see that area here. So, this area here, that's obviously where the shallower bits are as well. Um, this is due to the fact that it's shallower, but also because there's a lot of um, cryptoplankton accumulated due to the high CO2 in the atmosphere. The seas are also not pure water, but a mixture of 86% water, 13% CO2, and 1% salts. 
Now, the clouds feature a slightly golden hue. This is because of the dust particles suspended in it and the crazy winds of how a good portion of the planet's surface is quite desertic and sandy, similar to, to how Mars is currently. Okay, cool. So there is that. And then lastly, we have one from Chris. If I just search Chris, we should be able to find it. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Young Mars from Chris. There we are. Okay, so... Here it is. Okay, let's see. Did he give us any description? Let's have a look. Let's see how this will look. Uh, do not mind the backside of the world. The front is what counts. The aliens do not want you to see what the dark side of Mars is. Uh, it's pretty barren by the looks of it. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see, yeah, it's like almost like a tidy locked effect. But, yeah, there it is. So, the front of it, that's all we want to see. So, okay. Um, or you can see the back of it in the menu up there. It's got some pretty interesting craters on it, actually. Look at that. This actually look quite good, actually. So, here it is. Okay. So that's what it looks like underneath. So, Mars, obviously, not the most uh, water on this one either. There we go. He hasn't given us any description. Okay. And then, lastly, we've also got one from J248, actually, which is this one here. So, here it is. Cool. So that puts us to about, what's that, uh, nine submissions. Okay, cool. So here's Proto Mars from J248. And yeah, he hasn't given us any description either. So here it is here. So a lot, very lots of ocean heavy on this one. Okay. Cool. Nice. Okay. Cool. So there it is. All right. So lining them all up here. Oh, no, I'm going to go out of that, actually. No, never mind. So I'm going to try and put them in order of how Mars may have looked and how it eventually ended up. So, for instance, we need the regular Mars because that is effectively the present day. So we'll throw that in there. So that's Mars as it is now. So how would it, what, which one of these would be the closest to how it would have looked before? So Chris's one, to me, looks like it's right before the water's going to dry up. So I'm going to put that there. See, we'll, call, we'll sort of line them up and just sort of see um, how it would have changed over time. So, again, the very first one from Endy here, that's the one with a lot of water on it. So, effectively, that would have been um, somewhere before that. I reckon this Proto Mars here, this is kind of like before the water really settled down because you can see it's all over the place. So, maybe that's when it first got its water. So, maybe that's further back in the timeline. So, again, Pumpkin's one there, Demunix one, those all would have been in here somewhere as well. So, yeah, we're trying to sort of build a timeline. I think that would look quite good, actually. Demunix one there, it's got more of a cloud haze going on, so I'm going to put that there. This one's more green than that one, so... Oh, I don't know, do I put this one before or after? Because maybe it's still building up its life at this point. If it had any life, of course, but I mean... Ooh... I don't know where to throw these ones. And also you've got this one as well. So I'm going to think I'm going to put them in this sort of order. So this one is where the, the life has all disappeared. So this one would definitely be after this one. And then Demunix one still has a few areas um, on it that are green. But obviously not much either. And then obviously Chris's one's got no green on it at all. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put them in that order. Okay. So we're kind of, yeah, we're literally making an entire timeline of Mars's history here. Um... And we've got the ones down here. Now, I'm not sure where to place these ones. So we've got Emerald Neo's one. So, again, this one doesn't have the much. See, that one looks a lot out of the box. Like, this one looks like it, you know, the water hasn't settled yet. The surface is looking different. This is definitely going to be one of the earliest periods of Mars. So, maybe the, maybe this is the oldest one? Or maybe, no, that one's got to be the oldest because it's got the crater marks on it. So, I kind of say it. this is... The one after the bombardment period, somewhere around there, it's starting to get some water on it. Maybe then it clouds up a bit. Um, the water's still sort of making its mind up where it wants to be. And then maybe we move on to this one or this one. So we've got this Proto Mars here. That's where the water hasn't really sorted itself out yet. And then we've also got Nick of Beans one here. To me, this one would take place before. So maybe you end up something like this? Also gave the background of the simulation like a Marsy blue and red sort of look with the water and then the Mars and dust, dusty red. So I don't know. I'd kind of put them in that sort of timeline order maybe of how Mars had changed over time, something like that. And then you have the generic Mars at the end as well. But yeah, to me the way they all look, Chris's one definitely looks like the Mars before its water all vanishes because it's a lot more barren looking with the lack of the atmosphere and all that, so it's definitely got the thinner look to it, and then it eventually turns into that. Something like that, anyway. I mean, that's 
I think that's a fairly cool lineup of how Mars would have changed. So, you know, it's for, it's come out of their bombardment period here. Starts its atmosphere, the water appears, then the atmosphere sort of thins out a bit. Maybe this one, uh... I don't know, actually, though. Ugh. So, in the Nick of Bean's description, he did say... Um, a dying world we would later know as Mars. So, it's the fact that he puts dying kind of implies it would be further down the line then. So, maybe it's... Maybe it'd be in between sort of Demunix and Chris's one, somewhere there. Because Chris's one is like looks like right before the water's about to vanish completely. So Well maybe this one goes in maybe it goes in this order. No, I, f I think it makes more sense for that to fit in there. Because Chris's one has less ice appearing on it, and that's kind of how Mars is now. So yeah, I kind of order them in that sort of order. If you were to put them into like a try and put them into a timeline, so something like that. But yeah, there we are anyway. So guys, that does it for the Proto Mars competition. So let me know what you guys think of this because pretty interesting lineup here. Honestly, we'll get rid of the regular Mars. But um, yeah, pretty interesting lineup. You know, we've got a, few, a lot of different examples of how Mars may have once looked. But you guys will be the judges of which one is the best. So as always, make sure to hit um vote down below the link will um the link to the voting will be in the description and the comments as usual so if you'd like to take part in the voting make sure you um submit your name when you do that as well as there is a rule that yeah you have to put your username in otherwise we don't want people making like duplicates or whatever um but yeah make sure to put your username in and make sure um preferably to put a comment in the um, video as well so say you voted so then we know uh, who's who um and yeah if that all said and done guys stay tuned for this is the second to last episode of object competition season four for this year we've got one more in two weeks time take a guess at what that could be but yeah we've got one more in two weeks time so again a massive thank you to everyone who's participated in this competition and yeah good luck may the best mars win and i'll see you in the next video guys goodbye